What's up guys, it's me and on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to safely trade with random people and avoid scammers. So in this video I wanted to tell you guys about my previous video because in my previous video I showed you guys about my tra new, the trading system that is from I, that one Asian, the YouTuber. So he made a really good trading system, I just promoted it. I made a video on it because I think it deserves a lot more. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys that same trading box in this video. But I'm going to be explaining the best strategy basically. So yeah guys, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you want a chance to win 10 130 power level weapons, then all you have to do is go to this website on screen which is linked in the description and then just follow the rules. Subscribe to me and easy drop. The reason why we're doing this is because we wanted to give back to you all. Easy drop just hit 100,000 subscribers. I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so guys, so this is probably, in my opinion, the safest way to trade. So if you look at this um, 2x6, I mean 2x3 trading box, in my opinion, this is probably the safer, safest way to trade. It's using this trading box. So, as soon as when you get into someone to trade with, like this guy, Azar, you give him permissions and give him post leader. That's how you do it. And then, put traps at least on these walls, like at least those. Those are important. The rest, I don't know, up to you. You can put on the ceiling or around if you don't want people to come in. So the traps make you uh, so that you're unable to edit. You see, I can't edit this wall or that or anything that has traps on it. So the reason why I think this is the safest trading box is like this. I can go to the other side. So this, the triangles, those the pyramids, whatever, when you put them, they're actually really helpful because you can use them to put, like, make it like this. Okay, so I already made a video on this trading box before and you saw it. So basically you drop an item like this, for example, 82 hunter kill on the triangle, and then that's going to be your trading item. And then when you go in the other side, well you have to also kind of fix this as well. When you go on the other side, you just look at it, and look, it says 82 Malachite hunter killer. And the best part about it is that you cannot pick it up, because <coughs> you can't pick up stuff through walls. So we can basically do the same thing with materials. So that's going to be like a lot safer. For example, let's do that. And then we go here. Look. You just have to get the right angle, like that. So yeah, Malachi or 146. That's it. And then you both know. So this is, and you can't pick it up. Look, I'm pressing it. So that's the safest, in my opinion trading way to trade materials but if you want to trade weapons like that you never know if it's low durability or not but for this weapon it's actually full so like if you're trading with a random maybe it's better to not trust them you have to ask them for a screenshot also maybe they're sending you an old screenshot or something like that maybe they have two hunter killers so just keep, be careful, say, um, trade safely. Alright, so the reason why it's not a one by one, it's um, a long like that, is because first of all, you come here, you drop items, you see Malachi, or I'll drop my items for example. Okay, actually you take this side, I'll go there. Drop, drop like a, any item. No. So this is like the item I dropped, 146 Malachi. Wait. Like that, and then you fix it like that because, like that, it zooms your screenshot. I mean, screen in, it makes it zoom so that you can easily see the weapon at the other side, which is an 82 death ray. So, yeah, and then after that, you move like this, come first of all, fix your triangle like that, and then when you dropped it done, you move slowly and check if it's still there, like I can see it. Then you keep moving and then jump and go for it. That's how you do it. Let's see. So let's see, like... Uh, where is it? It's right here. Alright. Yeah, so that's how we do it. Okay, give it, okay, give it back. 
Oh, I didn't pick it up. Oh, whoops. Okay. Oh. Alright, yeah. So yeah, guys. That is how you trade really safely. Make sure <laughs> if the owner of this base built it, make sure he gives you host and edit permissions. If you built it, give the other guy host and edit permissions. That's something really important. Alright, come in. Okay, for this example trade, <coughs> how much Malachite would you want for your 106, no, I mean 130 power level Nocturno? Uh, I would 110. 110. I don't really care about this one. Okay. Yeah, it's full there. Okay. This is just example trade. So, 110 Malachite. Okay, you drop yours. As soon as you okay, drop yeah. it, just fix the train. Okay, wait, yeah. yeah, okay. Nocturno 130 bright core. Okay, wait, no. Wait. We slowly. And we look that you didn't pick it up. Yeah, I can see it. And we slowly. And we jump. Go. You see how that worked? So, yeah, guys. That, that's how you do um, a trade in the safety trading board.